Hey there and welcome to a new video in the .NET tips and tricks in under 5 minutes series. In this one I would like to show you a tool that will absolutely skyrocket your Blazor development productivity. I'm talking about a Visual Studio extension that's called Blaze extension and it is developed by Jimmy Engstrom. Jimmy Engstrom is for sure not a random dude in the Blazor community. In fact, he has written one Blazor book and is a very active member of the Blazor community, doing a lot of conference talks, workshops and other kind of stuff. So let me show you a few very nice things that will improve your productivity using this extension. The first major challenge is when we want to create custom isolated files like CSS files or JavaScript files for Blazor. Now what you would have to do in that case is to just manually create that files, give them names, make sure that they have the same name as the component and so on and so forth. But with this extension installed, we can simply right click the component and click here on create isolated CSS file. And in fact, you see that this new file was just created with a mouse click. We can simply add here some random CSS and just run the application and to show that everything works. So if you go to the counter and we see that the counter is now red as we have defined in our CSS file. Following the exact same steps, we can also add isolated JavaScript files. Let's take this index.razor component and let's right click and here create just isolated JavaScript. And here in this isolated JavaScript, you see that the file is created. Let us just simply add a very simple function. And to wire everything up together, let's go here to the component. Let's inject the IJS runtime and let's add some code behind that will allow us to use JavaScript inter interoperability. And now if we run this application, we can see that we get this window alert with hello world. It's exactly what we created and if we refresh it, we get it once again. The next productivity boost is even more excited for me because you know I like to have this code behind files that are associated to the markup. Now what we can do here instead with this Visual Studio extension is just right click the component and we can say here create code behind file and it will automatically create this code behind for us. So to make sure that everything works let's go here and let's take everything that we have in this code behind and let's move it to the dedicated file. From here we can remove the entire block, run the application, go to fetch data and we see that everything still works. And since we are here on this fetch data component one other very interesting interesting productivity hack with this Visual Studio extension is that we can automatically for instance take these usings and move them if we right click here move namespaces to the imports.cshtml and if we go in fact in this imports we can see that it was successfully added. And last but not least another very nice productivity hack here with this extension is that we can automatically extract the code block into a custom component. So let's say that we have this H1 title and we want to extract this to a dedicated component. We can just simply right click it and we have this option extract to component. Then here we have to give a name. So I will give it counter title and add component. And not only that it did add the component here, you can see that we have this new file, but it also automatically did add this markup here to place the component on this file. And if we run the application, we will see that the counter should still work exactly the same as before, even though right now the title is basically in a dedicated component. So that's about it. Please let me know what you think about this Visual Studio extension, because I think it is a very, very useful one. So useful that I am thinking about switching back to Visual Studio when I will develop Blazor applications. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit, to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you are for the first time here. And if you have any questions don't be shy and head over to the comment section and leave your comment and i would be more than happy to get in touch with you this being said thank you very much for watching and until the next time i wish you the very best